I loved Beseech the Mirror into Iron Craig Feet so much in Modern that we're doing it today in Legacy. It's Black Belcher time! Let's go see today's deck list. As I mentioned in the intro, I loved Beseech the Mirror into Iron Craig Feet so much in Modern we're doing it today in Legacy. And we're playing it alongside Goblin Char Belcher. This way, Iron Craig Feet makes 7, you play Belcher, you tap it, you activate it, you win the game. Ideally. So today we are playing a single Bayou alongside Land Grant as our mana base and Agadim's Awakening slash the Undercrypt, whatever you would like to call that. So there is the risk of revealing a Bayou and not dealing lethal damage. I'm well aware of that. You could play the green land turn timber symbiosis, but today we're playing Dark Ritual, Cabal Ritual, and Beseech the Mirror. So having black mana sources really matters a lot. And having something like the turn timber symbiosis not make black mana is really punishing. So we're effectively playing nine black mana sources between Agadim's Awakening, Land Grant, and Bayou. You have your classic artifact mana base that you'll find in the Epic Storm, Chrome Mox, Mox Opal, Lotus Petal, and Lion's Eye Diamond, which can be used to activate Goblin Char Belcher into, you know, deterministic wins with Guy's Will, Infernal Tutor for Beseech the Mirror, Belcher, all that good stuff. The stack of the list is super fast. You're going to see tons of turn one wins today, and I'm hoping for a turn zero win with a line of anticipation. Let's go see if we can make that happen in the first round. I'll see you there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, early access to videos, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us like theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via theepicsroom.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Match number one. We're on the draw and we've opened up a hand that's pretty powerful. We're going to try this out. Opponent plays Wooded Foothills and passes the turn. Not really sure what they're playing. We draw Thoughtseize. I'll play Agadim's Awakening. We'll Lightning Bolt ourselves and then try to go down to 15 with a Thoughtseize. Okay, their hand doesn't really do a whole lot here. We'll take Minsk and Boo. Pass the turn. They just play a land, okay. Simeon Spirit Guide, what does that do for us? So we can play Lotus Petal here. Can we win? Mox Opal. Pitch Spirit Guide, Cabal Ritual, Sacrifice Opal. Beseech. I don't think I can win with Beseech. We could put Belcher into play. Maybe that's good enough. Pitch the Spirit Guide, cast Cabal Ritual. Beseech the Mirror, sacrificing Mox Opal. So if I was to get Guy's Will, I would sacrifice the Paddle. Yeah, it just doesn't win. So we'll grab Belcher. Cast Goblin Char Belcher. Play Mox Opal. Pass the turn. Opponent plays a basic forest. In our upkeep, we will activate Goblin Char Belcher, targeting them. Pew pew! Sweet. Game one goes to us. We are likely facing the... Shardless Rhinos deck or Teamer Rhinos, whatever you'd like to call that. I do think Defense Grid is decent against that deck. So is Empty the Warrens. I think Empty is actually very good against that deck. So we'll bring those in. I think it's good because they're an 8 Force of Will deck. Although Rhinos can race Goblin Tokens, so that's a little bit of a concern. I'm going to board out empty, or Infernal Tutors for the Empties. I just want to be more resilient against Counter Magic. Could bring in Defense Grid as well. But... They, I think they're actually pretty good at beating Defense Grid because they have all the Simian Spear Guides and stuff and Force of Vigors. So I think Defense Grid isn't as good as you might want it to be. So we'll try out this. Grid is more for traditional blue decks, I think. Guys will in our hand. This would have been an easy turn one win. We could turn one put Belcher into play, but is that good enough? I think we're supposed to mulligan. Oh, I, I guess I could have emptied. Hmm. I could have emptied. Maybe I was supposed to keep that. We'll go to five. This is a hand. Get rid of empty the Warrens and a Goblin Char Belcher. Honestly, this might be better than our seven. They have a turn one Wooded Foothills. Dark Ritual. Not bad. Let's play Thoughtseize. Well, that's just not very nice. We'll take the Lorien Revealed. Pass the turn. We're one mana away from winning the game on turn two. 
or seven actually would have emptied for like 12 or 14 goblins versus eight rhinos. I think we might have won that race. I'm not positive. And they're going to wait. Sure. We'll take a draw. They're going to do it in our upkeep. That's fine. Sure. Increase my storm count. You got it. All right, Dak, we want one mana here. That's all I'm asking for. Mm, not really one mana. We'll play our land tapped and pass the turn. They play another volcanic, and now they'll violent outburst on their main phase. And what this does is it pumps up their rhinos, so that way they have a win on the following turn. I guess they would have had a win regardless, but Dak, we have to draw a land here, or some sort of mana source, or else we're dead. So please, that will do. Lotus Petal. Lines of Diamond. Cabal Ritual. Goblin Char Belcher. Another diamond. We'll activate Belcher on them. Our opponent says GG's. GG's opponent as well. And we are starting this league off 1-0 with Black Belcher. I love it. Beating a deck with 8 Force of Wills and Force of Vigors is just amazing. So, pretty stoked right now. I'll see all of you in match number 2. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Round number two, we're on the draw. We've opened up a hand with double Thoughtseize and not a whole lot else going on. I think we're supposed to take a mulligan. All right, so this is another hand of all mana. This time with no Thoughtseize. We'll go to five. I guess we'll keep this, but I don't like it. Bottom, the second land grant, and the guys will. My best draw is by far a Lion's Eye Diamond. Misty Rainforest. Dark Ritual's a good one. We'll play a land grant. We grab our bayou, we'll play it, and cast Thoughtseize. Our opponent grabs a tropical island. Main deck Veil of Summer. Alright, this might be Ant. Ant or like blue-green Omnitel. Alright, well I'm leaning more towards Ant now. Up the Beanstalk. I, I guess I'm just wrong. Okay. Lion's Eye Diamond off the top, please. Let's see it. Belcher. It's not bad. Dark Ritual. Goblin Charbelcher. They had Force of Will exiling Sauron's Ransom. Okay, I guess we weren't going to beat Main Deck Veil of Summer into Force of Will. They play a Ponder. At this point, I've accepted that I've lost, and I'm just trying to gather information on what our opponent's up to. Thoughtsies. Okay. Mystic Sanctuary. Highly disruptive deck. Play a land past the turn. They play a Misty Rainforest, and they still have three cards in their hand. Lotus Petal. And then we might as well play out the Mox Opal. If they have something like Grief, this means that they can't discard anything from me. I don't know. Orcish Bowmasters. Sure thing. I mean, I know that things aren't looking good, but there's a chance our opponent doesn't have another counter spell and we get to eke out a win somehow. So I'm staying in this for at least for the short term. We'll take two down to 17. Chrome Mox. Let's play that out. So this gives me four mana. So that means that if I draw a Beseech them, uh, the Mirror into Guy's Will, we win if it resolves, or just Goblin Charbelcher. We'll take two more down to 15. Beseech the Mirror, now or never. We will sacrifice Chrome Mox. We'll grab another Beseech the Mirror. Sacrifice Mox Opal. And they just use the Force Mitigation now. Sure. Okay. Uh, yeah, they got us. It happens. So, their main deck has Force of Negation, Veil of Summer, Force of Will, Thoughtseize, Orcish Bowmasters. They definitely came into a league looking to beat combo decks, so it's going to be an uphill battle for us. We most likely want Empty the Warrens. We'll get rid of these Infernal Tutors. And I think Carpet of Flowers makes a lot of sense, so we're going to bring those in. We might want Defense Grids as well, so that's 67 cards. It's a lot. We'll board out the Iron Craig Feet. And let's take out the Cabal Rituals when we have Carpet of Flowers. Now we're down to 62. We'll shave on like one of each mocks. Or is it better to shave on Simian Spirit Guides? 
Might be better to shave on spirit guides. Let's try this. Game number two on the play. Interesting. I think we'll try this. Play out Chrome Mox. Imprint Beseech. Lotus Petal. Pitch Spirit Guide. We'll play Carpet. Obviously, Force of Vigor is going to put me in the dirt here, but I think it's better to do it this way. Maybe you don't have to play out all the artifacts, but we know that our opponent's a Thought Seize deck and they're likely a Grief deck. So leaving myself with Double Belcher just seems better to me. I could be wrong. I'm not always right. Nice Wasteland. Simeon Spirit Guide. We will pass the turn. They cycle a Lorien Revealed. Okay. They go and grab an Underground Sea. Okay, Carpet of Flowers now makes one mana. Dark Ritual, I like that. Black, let's play the Ritual. Goblin Char Belcher. They brainstorm in response. Belcher? Resolves. I don't know if I love that. I mean, like, it resolving is good, but I'm worried about Force of Vigor here, or like Needle. They cycle another Lurian Revealed. For this time for Tropical Island. And now they're casting Ponder. Okay. We do still have the Bayou in our deck, so it is not a guaranteed win when we activate Goblin Charbelger. They did not shuffle on the Ponder. They play the Bayou. So we know that they have a Tropical Island in their hand. They're going to Wasteland their own Underground Sea. Okay. I'm down for that. We draw a Dark Ritual. Cast it, I guess. Activate Belcher. Hey, we got there. Okay. Game number three. Let's go. I think I'm just going to resubmit. All right, game three on the draw, we will keep. It's essentially a mulligan to six with a pair of land grants, but this hand's strong enough that I'm willing to keep it. They play a Pluted Delta and pass. We draw Chrome Mox. Let's play a land grant. We'll grab the Bayou. And then I think I'm going to keep the Bayou in my hand and we're just going to play Carpet of Flowers this turn. Play Carpet. We'll pass the turn. I'm not going to play into Veil vale of Summer again. They fetch with the Pluted Delta. They have a Bayou. And an Underground Sea. Thus Beans. Sure. I was really worried that this was a Collector Roof. I'm way happier to see an Up the Beanstalk. So our Carpet will make one mana here. Let's make a Black and cast Thoughtseize. Double Force of Will. Huh. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. We will take one. And I guess we can play our land. Pass the turn. If we could draw and empty the Warrens, they would also be decent. They're stuck on two lands. Agadim's Awakening. They're going to Surgical, our Thought Seize, that's fine. Leovold's kind of scary when we have Carpet of Flowers, so we really need our opponent to not draw land three. Because Carpet of Flowers with Leovold in play will draw them a card every single turn. So I would like to draw Defense Grid or Empty the Warrens immediately. It looks like our opponent missed on land three again. Another Belcher. I'm down to play the first one now. They cast Force Will, exiling Leovold. We can pass the turn. Should I pass the turn? I mean, I could play Belcher in the second main phase and avoid like a Thought Seize that they might have drawn off the Beanstalk or their draw step. Dark Ritual. Exile the Spirit Guide will play another Belcher. It's worse if I draw an empty and they have a counter here, but I'm not sure if like we're supposed to be playing into their discard spells. That seems a little sketchy to me. Also, another drawn Surgical. Like There's a lot of cards that beat us if we pass the turn. Belcher somehow resolves. Okay. They're paying costs. Orcish Bowmaster. Who cares? Let's see a concession. Come on. A... Black Belcher gets another one. We are now 2-0. Three left to go. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens, as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Okay, we're in match number three. We're on the play. Let's see if we can belch some more. 
All right, so we have one mana source, two dead mox opals, a cabal ritual we can't cast. I think that this is a mulligan. So we could play Belcher on turn one, I believe. So we would bottom chrome mox, imprint infernal tutor, cabal ritual, lotus petal Belcher, and then we need one mana. Okay, here goes nothing. Chrome mox. We'll imprint Infernal Tutor, as I mentioned, Lotus Petal, Simeon Spirit Guide, Cast Cabal Ritual, and Goblin Charbelcher. We need two mana. I thought we only needed one, but hey, we have a Belcher on the table. Lion's Eye Diamond off the top, please. Opponent plays a Swamp. They thought sees themselves. So they're on Reanimator. I would like a Lion's Eye Diamond. Come on. Nope. We will pass. They play Scrubland, Lotus Petal, Animate Dead on Gristlebrand, yep. They draw 7, going down to 11 life. Dark Ritual, Lion's Eye Diamond, are, we have, so we have 8 cards that I really want to draw. They cast Dark Ritual, and then Entomb for an Archon of Cruelty. Yeah, that's pretty good. Kermox down. We still have 8 hits that win the game. Please. Nope, back-to-back -back Chrome Oxes. Are we dead? So they have 11 damage on board. They get the Archon of Cruelty trigger. That's 14. If they have another Archon, I'm dead. And there is one in the, already in the graveyard. So I should be dead here. Bummer. They pay 7, draw 7. All they have to do is animate the Archon of Cruelty, and I am dead. There they go. Okay, so we are down to game 2, Rakdos Reanimator. Do we even want a board? I don't think so. Let's just resubmit. Game two on the play. We are... This doesn't do anything. Mulligan. This doesn't have a black mana source. We'll go to five. What does this do? So we have to put two cards back. If I put back Belcher and Thoughtseize... Hold on, that doesn't do it. If I put back Belcher, Lion's Eye Diamond... I could Beseech into Belcher on turn one. This is so close. Why would I want to Beseech into Belcher? What if I just put back... Okay. So I guess we're praying to draw a diamond again. It's the same situation as game one. Dark Ritual or Lion's Eye Diamond off the top. Dark Ritual. Player Belcher. So if I had cast Beseech here instead, we would put Chromox to the graveyard... Cast Guy as well. I could replay Lotus Petal, Dark Ritual, Chrome Mox, and then I'm one mana short of Beseeching again. Okay. They play an Underground Sea. They are now at 12 life. They're at 5 life. Lotus Petal. Dark Ritual. And a Grief. So we're going to lose our Elvish Spirit Guide here. I think it's better to have it in Exile than to have it in my graveyard for them to possibly bring back. They have a Serenity. Wow. I'm in trouble. And our kind of cruelty. Please, deck. I'm begging you. Give me a Lion's Eye Diamond or Dark Ritual here. Nope. Have to pass. I mean, I could cast the Thoughtseize, but Serenity's too slow at this point. I would die before Serenity um, would trigger anyway. So there's no point in me casting this Thoughtseize and losing two extra life. So I'm at one. If they have another Archon of Cruelty, I am dead. And it looks like they do. Wow, two of like the exact same games back to back is kind of wild. And uh, we have lost match number three, unfortunately. We are now two and one. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Match four, we're on the play. So we have land grant for Bayou into Thoughtseize, and then we don't do a whole lot. I think you're supposed to mulligan this. This seems decent. We'll put one of, the, one of the land grants on the bottom. They're on five cards. We'll play land grant, grab the Bayou, and then play Thoughtseize. They're on goblins. We'll take the Prospector. Just a couple goblin decks, no big deal. Cavern of Souls. Come on, Lion's Eye Diamond. I feel like I've been saying that a lot the last round or so. Beseech the Mirror. I think we're supposed to pass. 
So I could put Goblin Charbelcher on the table, and that's very reasonable. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Any draw that would win the game off for like Dark Ritual, Lion's Eye Diamond, they all win the game regardless because I could Beseech the Mirror into Iron Craig Feet. I don't have to risk my Belcher being destroyed if I hold it in hand. They attack for one, we go to 17. Another Spirit Guide. So that actually changes the math, and now I'm supposed to exile everything into the Belcher because any one mana now wins. They play land three. They have two cards in hand, one of which is a Goblin Ringleader. They're attacking. I'll take six down to 11. Mana, please. There we go. And now we'll activate our Goblin Charbelcher. Pew! Sweet. Next game. We definitely want the Ley Lines. So a lot of people... I, the Tony scoponi ask decks that are similar to this. When they bring in Leyland of Anticipation, they board out their lands. We have Thought Seasons in this matchup. I think that I kind of just want to board those out instead and keep these as cards I could play for hands where we don't have the ley line. So that is my game plan here. Okay, we've opened up a pretty good hand. We'll keep this. Land Grant is only Chrome Mox fodder. Our opponent has once again shuffled down to five cards. Cavern of Souls. Skirk Prospector. Okay. Shadows of the Void. That's pretty annoying here. Cabal Ritual. So I could play Goblin Charbelger. I mean, I'm going to, but we're really far away from winning. Play the Belcher. We now have to find two mana that isn't a zero mana artifact. Our opponent has four mana now. Goblin Rabble Master. And the clock is on. So my best draw by far is a Dark Ritual. Not even close, but we only have three of those in the deck. Okay, so now any one mana wins. So one of the black Agadim's Awakening Lands, Simeon Spirit Guide, Elvish Spirit Guide. Our opponent's making four mana. They play Goblin Chieftain. Okay, so I'm not getting another turn. So our draw step needs to be the win or else we're going to game three. Play Line of Anticipation will not do it. That said, Thoughtseize also would not win here. So we'll head over to game three now. We'll bring the Thoughtseizes back in. Get rid of Ley Lines. Let's try it again. On the play. Nope. What does this do? So we're obviously keeping this. I'm wondering what we do to win. So if I bottom the Spirit Guide, I could play Agonemes and then Thoughtseize, or I could imprint the Agonemes into Thoughtseize. I could bottom the Opal and guarantee a Belcher next turn. I think that's probably the move. And Thoughtseize to check for Mindbreak Trap. Our opponent kept six cards this time. Play the Agonemes Awakening, and then Thoughtseize. I mean, that's pretty good. We'll take the Chalice of the Void. And I'm just going to pass. I could play out the Chromox and printing the Elvis Spirit Guide, but I might want that mana later, especially if we draw a dead card. They imprint the Chieftain. Okay. Sticker Goblin. Double Sticker Goblin. Battlecry Goblin. They can activate it twice here. Holy moly. That's f they just turned one me. Holy smokes. That's insane. Props to them. Jeez. <laughs> All right, so we are now two and two with one match left to go. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as seven tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. The fifth and final round. Let's try to get this one and finish with a positive record. So we have Land Grant. It just doesn't do anything. So if you bottom Thought Seize, you're one mana short? Yeah, you're one mana short. We're just going to pass the turn. I don't think you're actually supposed to do anything here. Because if you draw a card you could imprint next turn, you have the win. So by playing everything out, I feel like you're almost doing yourself a disservice. Polluted Delta. Okay, that will get the job done. We'll play a Chromox. I mean, we're dead to literally anything. So best case scenario, our opponent's playing Storm. 
Golden Prank, Cabal Ritual, Lion's Eye Diamond, Play Mox Opal, and now we will cast Cabal Ritual, Goblin Charbelcher. Our opponent is fetching in response. Under round C, and a Brainstorm. Belcher, Force Will, Exiling Ponder, sure. Tundra, okay, is this breakfast? Yeah, it looks like breakfast. All right, we're a Beseech the Mirror away from Greatness. Infernal Tutor would also do another Belcher. So we have 11 hits here that win the game. Prismatic ending on my Chromox. Not very nice. We draw a card with the staff. We draw for turn. Thoughtseize doesn't do anything, we'll pass. They attack. What else? Ponder. Our opponent plays a Flooded Strand and then casts Brainstorm. Another Mox Opal. Things are definitely going well for the home team. Scrubland. They cling to dust my Belcher. So it's definitely not Cephalid Breakfast. I mean, the main deck Prismatic ending was the first thing that tipped me off that it probably wasn't. This is just like a weird Esper control deck. We will pass. They play a Caracas and a Ponder. We'll take one down to 16. <sighs> so they can... Cling to dust here. I think I'm supposed to just play the land tapped and pass. Our opponent fetches using marsh flats. Hardcast cauldra. Sure. Apparently you're stone blade. You got it. They're attacking for six. I will drop down to ten life. All right. We have very little time left at this point. We have to draw something good. That something good is definitely not Simeon Spirit Guide. We'll play Thoughtseize. Take the Force of Will. I mean, we're still on 11 cards that we could draw that win the game here. And I think our chances just went. I suppose Infernal Tutor might be able to do something still. But it has to be exactly Infernal Tutor, I believe. And I think our opponent would have to forget about their Cling to Dust as well. Things not looking good. Stoneforge Mystic. So Cling to Dust is offline now. No, it's not. It costs four. I thought it was five. All right, we missed on everything. We'll go to game two. They had a lot of non-islands. I don't know if you noticed that, but they had a scrubland, a basic plains, basic swamp, Caracas. I'm not excited about the idea of Carpet of Flowers here. I think I'm going to get rid of the Iron Craig feet. Let's bring in some number of empties. Get rid of Infernal Tutor. And I definitely want Defense Grids. Shave a Chrome Mox and like one Elvish Spirit Guide. Let's try this. Game number two. I mean, if we draw anything, this hand ends up being pretty good. I guess so. Ouch. Thoughtseize. They kept this? What does this hand do? Take staff of the Storyteller. If I lose to this, I'm going to be quite sad. Then again, I kept a hand without a payoff, so I would deserve it. They play a Flooded Strand. That should win the game. Assuming our opponent didn't draw a card that stops us. Dark Ritual. Play a Lion's Eye Diamond. Let's exile some spirit guides. We will cast Beseech the Mirror Bargaining Away Lines at Diamond. And then we'll grab Guy's Will. Play the Guy's Will. Storm is five. Cast Dark Ritual. Lions at Diamond. Land Grant for Storm. Storm is eight. And then Beseech the Mirror Sacrificing Lines at Diamond Storm nine. Storm ten Tendrils of Agony. Okay. Off to game three. We can resubmit, keep. So this is technically a turn one with backup, but we would need our land grant and dark ritual to resolve. So we'll see how it goes. All right, they have turn one thoughtsies. They take the land grant. I had a feeling that they would. So now we're looking for any black source. That doesn't do it. So we will pass. They play underground sea into orcish bowmasters. Don't care. This is not a black mana. I think we're supposed to just play out Lion's Eye Diamond. It's going to stink if it gets hit by Prismatic Ending, but I don't want to discard a Beseech the Mirror and then get hit by Surgical, so that is my thought process. They play a Brainstorm. There's Scrubland. I'll take two down to 17. Stoneforge Mystic. They have three cards left. They grab a Cauldra. There we go. That was a good draw. Let's Thought Seize. Take that Force of Negation. Thank you. They play an island. They sh probably should have brainstormed first, but it doesn't really matter all that much. They drew Ponder. They activate the Stoneforge. 
They did not shuffle on the ponder for what it's worth. So it could be forced blue card. I'm at five. We need Dark Ritual to resolve. Thoughtseize. They're casting Brainstorm. Sure. We will take Force of Will. Should have forced my Dark Ritual. Exile Spirit Guide. Cast Beseech with Bargain. Sacrificing the Lion's Eye Diamond. Our opponent said GG's. GG's opponent will grab Guy's Will. Cast it. Uh, cast the land grant for free if it will let me. Yep, there we go. Grab the bayou. We'll play bayou. Dark ritual. Dark ritual. Lion's Eye Diamond. And then cast Beseech. Sacrificing Lion's Eye Diamond. Grabbing Tendrils of Agony. There we go. So we got the 3 2. So I'm getting my money back. Thank you. Okay, so I feel like this league was a fun experiment. I don't know how good the deck actually is, if I'm being completely honest with you, but it's certainly fun. Uh, the Iron Crag feat with Beseech the Mirror never came up once. Mox Opal probably needs some more artifacts. That's an opinion I definitely have about the deck list. I don't really like Bobbles in a Turbo list like this, so I'm not a super big fan of that idea. You could try something like Grim Monolith, but Grim Monolith doesn't cast Beseech the Mirror, which is why I didn't play it today. So I'm not really sure what the answer is. You could try Artifact Lands, but and then your Belcher's worse. So I don't really love that idea either. But I don't have the answer. I really don't. It's just this was a fun idea I had, and I thought I'd try it for a quick league. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have any ideas on how to make the deck better, definitely put those in the comment section down below. But have a great day. Keep storming, and I appreciate you. See ya. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. After you do that, open up our description where you can find all of our social media networks, including our Discord, where you can discuss today's deck in that Discord with me and tons of other combo masterminds. It's absolutely free to join, and it's certainly worth your while.